for this tutorial I am going to alter uh, this uh, hook I think is the name and I am going to tell you what I did already with this this measure about six and a quarter diameter okay we are going to need one of these I'll be using once upon a springtime deluxe collector edition I already cut some uh, die cuts and I will explain you what is uh, the plan. I use some of the this creamy cardstock that you will find in the package of patterns and solids. At the end of all the patterns and solid papers, you will find always one of these and this is perfect to make some uh, embellishments. I use these dies, the large tag ATC tag in flower metal dies, because I cut with this one, I already cut using some of the green paper, this with the pocket dots. You see, I cut two, I cut in green, also this another two and I cut with the cardstock that I showed you the cream cardstock cardstock a uh, three of these and these are already embossed with white and uh, sparkling with glitter uh, embossing powder so I did all of this in advance because I don't want to take so much uh, time uh, with something that you already know how to do it okay I use this now this tutorial is to show you different techniques and one is altered this hook but the other is how I make my flowers how I shape them and for make these beautiful flowers I am using the flower dies this this and this and I cut some of the little ones and these leaves okay for the leaves this is how they look when they are a uh, die cut but I already shaped some of them and we will shape another because I think they uh, look more alive when we shape the flowers and the leaves okay and of course I already have three of these but we will shape another one to show you also from folder and sentiment dies I already uh, cut the happy and birthday because I think this could be a beautiful and special present in a birthday okay and you just need to add a picture on the uh, the, the project okay and because the paper it's uh, really thin for that purpose what I did is with the same uh, cream cardstock I cut five times and one in the uh, paper from the collection I cut it once and then I just stuck them all of them uh, with glue of course and now they look as a chipboard piece okay and also from this one tag pocket and butterfly dies I use these two dies to make these beautiful wings again I just die cut uh, three or four times I don't remember with the cream cardstock and one with the decorative paper from the collection to make it more uh, sturdy okay I am planning to use this beautiful uh, chipboard and I use an extra die this one this is from Echo Park because I want some doilies this is doily number three and I, re I cut two with the paper but then I cut a, another two in the cream cardstock and again this is embossed with the same embossing powder and I fussy cut a lot of this beautiful flower to embellish the project a lot of those you can see it there and I am in this beautiful a uh, fairy okay so now first I'm going to clean a bit here because we have a lot of uh, 
glitter and then I will show you how I shape this. Okay, before I start uh, shaping the flowers, I just want to tell you this is covered with white gesso in the inside and both uh, sides, not the outside because this is going to be here inside, so you won't see it, okay? Then I cover it with the white gesso, this outside uh, frame or circle, uh, all around again in this side and this one but when the gesso is dried i use some crackle paste and this is a texture paste or paste white crackle by fina bear and with uh one of these uh, tools i am just dab all around and now this is dry it i did it in advance because i like to let this air dry because it looks much much better and also i will be using some of this uh, tool i got this in a local local store and this is six inches wide so it fits perfectly here okay now let's shape First, my uh, leaves, where are the leaves? And I'm going to show you, because it's so difficult for me to get all the tools that you have in the United States, for example. So, I have these. These are part of this uh, package, you see? And normally, I use this rounded tip tool. But now I discovered that I can use this. I hope you can see it. I don't know the name, but I am showing you because maybe you can see and this one as well as this rounded. Okay. And it's so easy with this one. I am just out oh, now. This everybody asks me what is this tool? This is not a tool. Actually, this is a piece that normally you will uh, send to the garbage because when you buy a watch, the watch is here in the package, okay, here. But you see, it's sturdy enough to shape the flowers and it doesn't need so much space to, to keep it in your house, okay? So, I am going to use this and I am just rolling all the long side you see that's it you see how pretty this look now and then of course you will just add it with some glue okay this is really 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 easy just roll it all the long side and that's it now all the leaves are shaped i have here all of this and now i am going to do exactly the same here you can see the shape of these flowers is a kind of heart okay so in one side and in the other i am just going to roll this tool but in the back side okay so i am just rolling this in the back in every petal carefully and you don't need to wet the paper because you will make a lot of pressure with this now i am going to put the right side on top and with the rounded tool i am just doing this in the center now one more time now with this tool i am just going to kind of pinch this uh, kind of hearts okay just pinch there to shape better and that's it now we just need to repeat the same process you see now they look really really pretty i will do it again with all of this and i use it two of the this pattern in the let me tell you which die i use for each one 
this is this one I cut two for each flower two of these now in different uh, pink color I cut this one twice and this is the small well not the very small is this one once okay two of these two of these and one of these now I am going to use again this and I will add a drop of glue here in the center you can see here we don't need more than this drop of glue and now I don't want this in the same way I am going to try to put it in this way you see and with this rounded tool I can push and be careful because this can move and you don't want to layer in the same direction you see now it's going to look much much better again another drop of glue now I will continue with this and try to find the best To add always in almost of all my projects a little bit of wax you can see here maybe the difference this already have some of this wax and this not and I like maybe you can see it here the difference but I am just going to dab this with my finger just a little bit and put it here and there now I need a little bit of uh, seam binding and because I don't have in different colors just white uh, I because we don't have this kind of uh, seam binding in Mexico so I got a big roll and every time I need I just cut the piece that I need and paint it and I use this cosmopolitan pink by Lindis to paint this and now it's dry because I like how much with this uh, collection okay, okay now you so can see now. this is completely white so what I am going to do is uh, now I'm going to use this white gold wax to add it just a little bit I take just a bit on my finger and just to add more interest in all the crackles you see how beautiful this looks now just a little bit okay be careful if you want to add it now if you don't have this and you don't want to buy this you can use a uh, distress inks as well I like this because this is a metallic wax and it, it really looks so so beautiful I love it I is my going to be my front side it's going to be this this is going to be my front side and now I am just going to cut a piece but I am thinking to use two pieces because this is really thin and it's going to be my base to work with okay now we can put this here and before we need to pull the best we can this Now 
one this is going to be our base to work and we can add anything we want but first first i will add this to hang uh, later this piece Wait, I can make a bow here and later we will see if we need to cut a little bit these tails but in this way we already have how to hang this in any place you want okay I think that's enough and now we can make our composition and for that it's what I cut all of this beautiful, beautiful pieces. I think these two are going to be in this way and of course because we need to uh, use the glue that's why we can add another on the back just to make enough uh, to support this okay this it's going to be in here now in the back I can add this another one I think I will add more glue here a little bit more okay this is my top side so i will try to align it the best that i can and now this will be holding in the tool in both sides And of course you need to press in the back not in the front okay you see okay uh, this is the idea and now we will start assembling everything and I'm going to use some uh, pink pearls in different sizes also these ones you see and some of these pompons because I will be using some cheaper to get a uh, dimension and of course some of these uh, I don't remember the name of this okay and this will be very helpful to hide the cheaper pieces okay so you will see me assembling everything now